Welcome back to Creepy Places Global. We're now at the Avery World Heritage Site. We're going to explore a few areas and we're going to go and do an EVP session in a language that I don't even know nothing about nor does my indigenous populated friend really know much about either. But hey, you know, it's worth a try. But take a look at these beautiful roofs. Uh, what they called again? Thatched roofs. Thatched roofs. Pan up, baby. <laughs> Enjoy this next episode. <laughs> The Avery World Heritage Site is located in Wiltshire, England. The site consists of several ancient monuments, Overton Hill in the town of Marlborough, West Kennet Longborough, Silbury Hill, and the Avery Stone Circles. All of these are in the town of Avery. Additionally, there is Windmill Hill, also in Avery, which we did not visit. They are all Neolithic sites, with the Neolithic Era, also called the New Stone Age, being a period of human technology with the characteristics of the rise of farming, the domestication of animals, the establishment of settlements, and the use of pottery. England, which had inhabitants going back 800,000 years, began the Neolithic period around 4000 BC. Around the area of Avery and Salisbury Plain, the people who originally inhabited here were called the Windmill Hill culture, appearing in the area around 3000 BC. This culture was first discovered in 1925 near Windmill Hill, and their society consists of fortified towns and farms, tools made of flint, the farming of wheat and barley, and the raising of animals like cattle and goats. It is believed these people built many of these structures in and around Avery, such as the West Kennet Longborough, and was also responsible for the early development of Stonehenge. Overton Hill consists of the Borough Cemetery. The Borough Cemetery is the nickname for a group of Bronze Age burial mounds, with the Bronze Age in England beginning about 2500 BC. Borough burial mounds, which are mounds of earth and stones over grave sites, were very common throughout the world and in England were often used to bury the dead until about the 7th century due to the influence of Christianity. The ones at Overton Hill go back about 4,000 years, and many of them were excavated in the 19th century, and some had beech trees planted on top of them in the 18th century. Another site is the Sanctuary, which is nearby, but we did not visit. The West Kennet Longborough is a Neolithic burial tomb built around 3650 BC. It is 320 feet long by 8 feet high and was used for over a thousand years and at the end of its use the chamber was filled with stone and dirt by the newly arrived Beaker people. In 1859 and in 1955 and 56, excavations at the burrows discovered at least 46 burials, including those of babies and the elderly. However, the bodies were not completely intact with some missing skulls and long bones, possibly removed from the borough for ritualistic displays. There is a paranormal association with this spot, with claims that a ghostly priest and a white hound visiting the spot on Midsummer Day, which is somewhere between June 21st to the 24th. Silbury Hill is an artificial chalk mound which was calculated to have been started to be built about 2400 BC. The base is about 5 acres, with a height of it being about 130 feet. It is believed it took 18 million man-hours to dump about 248,000 cubic meters of earth on top of a natural hill. The makers would create a step, each step being filled with packed chalk, and then it was smoothed off. The purpose of this monument is unknown, though there are plenty of legends concerning it. The mythical King Sil, or King Zell, is said to be buried under the mound sitting on a golden horse, yet another one states that the devil planned on terrorizing the people of Middleborough by dropping soil onto the population, but his plan was stopped by a priest from Avery, and the hill is the result of the devil dumping that soil. Last is the Avery Henge. A henge is a Neolithic earthwork, and some of them, like the ones found at Avery and Stonehenge, will have stone or timber circles within the henge. 
As a note, Stonehenge is about 30 kilometers south of Avery. Around the time when the henges were constructed, the people of Britain experienced a great social change, including religious beliefs in which the people stopped building large chamber tombs in favor of wooden or stone circle monuments. The one on Avery was built and altered from 2850 BC to 2200 BC, though construction may go back even further to 3300 BC. The area covers about 28 acres, with its henge being about 420 meters in diameter, though it is not perfectly circular. There are three stone circles, the outer circle and the two inner circles. The outer circle is one of Europe's largest stone circles, being about 1,088 feet in diameter. The outer circle, which had 98 stones with some weighing about 40 tons, surrounded the two inner ones, each of those circles consisting of 30 stones each. Another feature of this place is the avenue, two parallel sided strips of land with stone lines. One, the West Kenneth Avenue, leads southeast to the sanctuary and the Barrow Cemetery, while Backhampton Avenue leads southwest to a place called the Longstones. All these stones were obtained from the nearby Marlborough Downs. In the 14th century, villagers began burying the stones in order to depaganize these sites, since early Christian beliefs that any non-Christian structures had to be associated with the devil. In the 17th and 18th century, more stones were destroyed by being smashed and then used for building material. By 1837, most of the stones were gone. During the 1930s, archaeologist Alexander Keeler began to uncover and re-erect many of these monuments, recovering and restoring many stones and using smaller stone monuments to represent where an original large stone once stood. The purpose of this site is not completely understood, but it's thought that the stone circles, along with the other monuments, may serve as a large ritual complex for events such as funerals and the appeasing of the malevolent forces of nature. Some interesting tales also come from the site, including one that says fairies are seen near the stones at midnight and that the area has a high spiritual energy. Finally, in 1986, Avery, along with other Neolithic structures like Stonehenge, was made a World Heritage Site. Now, here is the Avery World Heritage Site. Well, we're now heading to the next location, Avery, which I'm probably pronouncing a little bit wrong, but I just want to show you we're at a place known as a Petro Station, getting Petro because they don't use, they don't really use the word gas or gasoline, so, uh, so we're going to be heading to yet another World Heritage Site. There's a steering wheel. I'm sitting here, steering wheel, sitting here, uh, which is... Stonehenge is definitely more famous, but the area is similar, but much larger, and people have told me much more impressive, and I'm totally looking forward to it. Well, when you're driving along on the highways of good old jolly old England, sometimes it's very fun to uh, sing a little song, don't you agree? Oh, yes. Um, Andrew here, my indigenous British populated person, uh, taught me a very cool song that you sing to the tune of Glory Hallelujah. So, but I can't quite get the chorus right, so if Andrew's okay with it, he can sing the chorus. Yes. But we'll both sing the main line, so, <laughs> shall we, shall we go? <laughs> All right. Um, one, two, three. Oh, Sir Jasper, do not touch her. Oh, Sir Jasper, do not touch her. Oh, Sir Jasper, do not touch her. As she lay between the linen on cheeks with nothing on at all. I can't get the other parts. Okay. Oh, Sir Jasper, do not touch. Oh, Sir Jasper, do not touch. Oh, Sir Jasper, do not touch. As she lay between the linen on cheeks with nothing on at all. Oh, Sir Jasper, do not. Oh, Sir Jasper, do not. Oh, Sir Jasper, do not. As she lay between the linen or cheeks with nothing on the door. <laughs> oh, Sir Jasper, do. Oh, Sir Jasper, do. Oh, Sir Jasper, do. 
As she lay between the linen arches with nothing on at all. <laughs> Oh, oh Sir, Sir Jasper. Jasper! Oh, Sir Jasper! Oh, oh Sir Jasper. Jasper! As she lay between the linen arches with nothing on the door. <laughs> oh, oh, Sir! Oh, Sir! Oh, Sir! As she lay between the linen white sheets of nothing on at all. Oh! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> As she lay there in the linen and white sheets with nothing on at all. Wow, you guys, these people in England are just so sophisticated. <laughs> and there's a British dog right there. British puppy! <sighs> the Ridgeway National Trail. 87 miles through some fine country. Wow, that's a beautiful country. Nice. Thieves operate in this area. That makes you feel. <laughs> makes me feel special. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I got I got my wallet with me. Overton Hill. Yeah. It's about four thousand years old. Please. Four thousand years old. Mm. Wow. Can we get a closer look? Yes. These are kind of like, you know, Indian, almost like similar to Indian burial mounds you get in the States. By the way, do you have any, like, um, dangerous animals I should be worried about besides poisoning nettles? I mean, stinging nettles? <laughs> I thought you didn't have any wolves. No. You, you um, made them all extinct. We did. You have werewolves though, right? Yes. And dragons. Yeah. Yes. Full moon werewolves. <laughs> so here's a burial mound, huh? Yeah. Can you actually climb on top of them? Yes. Yeah. Should we? We can if you wish. No reason why not. Okay. Sorry guys. <laughs> they're probably all like I hate to say this, they're probably all fertilizer right now. You know, it's been four thousand years. I mean they do have a footpath, so it's obviously yeah, they can't come up here. Hello, hey, are those those stinging nettle thingies over there? Yes. Yeah. Let's just avoid they're them. them. Later on, my friend Andrew here, he's got to experience me doing a ghost stuff. <laughs> ghost stuff. It's a bug on me. I don't know what it look. It's a British I'll bug. It, British yeah. bug. <laughs> Fantastic view. Four thousand years old, huh? Four thousand. Amazing. So we've counted seven burial mounds, and as you walk on them, which you are allowed to walk on them because people walk on them all the time, I'm not doing anything disrespectful. Uh, they're soft. They're not like a normal hill. They like they feel like, like they're almost like soaked or something. 
And watch out for the poison nettles. Ooh, pretty flowers. Cow parsley. Cow what? Parsley. Parsley? Mm. Cow parsley. Can't eat it. Can't eat it? But I eat cows. You eat parsley. I eat parsley too. I eat parsley and cows. How come we can't eat parsley cows? Our cow parsleys. Well, we're going to have a fun adventure today. We're having one more view before we head off to some other areas. Uh, I just got pointed out that there's these cars and everything up there. And as Mr. Andrew pointed out to me, they're gypsies. <laughs> I'm sure they're very nice people. I never met, I've never met a gypsy before. The only gypsies I've ever known of are like in the horror films. And they're usually not portrayed very nicely. Well, we're heading up to the Long Barrow, and up there, there are sheep. And over there, moo cows. Please. Moo cows, moo cows. Looks like we're going to have this little spot relatively to ourselves. Uh, there is one person ahead of us, so we're going to have to kill that person first, okay? <laughs> Do the American thing, just kill someone. Kill. <laughs> now, how do we get in here? That's called a kissing game. It does a kiss? It's easier if you have to stand each side. Oh. Uh, Can we go out and play with the cows? Yeah, you can play with the moo cows. Oh. Cow poop. Cow. More cow poop. Cow. cow poop there. Here's a picture of the site. Another World Heritage Site. Boo hoo. We are here. 36 people yeah. buried there from, wow, 3650 BC. That's 5,650. Wow. Now relatively close, but it looks like it might be a good walk for us, huh? Yes, about half a mile. All right, considering all the English tea and cakes I've been eating since I've been here, that works out wonders. What that would have been like, so it's just an overgrown field now, but originally it's all of this. Yeah. Sanctuary. So I'm going to show you some of the uh, plants. They're very high. I bet if you go through there, you'll get a few bugs attached to you. <laughs> yeah, we're almost to the spot, I think. <laughs> well, we've made it. Here is the Long Barrow. Beautiful scenery. And so we got, there's 36 souls buried. Well, they, they know of 36, if I remember right. Buried in here. Let's go see what the sign says. Ooh, nice. Or how about we just observe the uh, beautiful scenery? You know what? If you're gonna get buried somewhere, it'd be nice to be buried here. At least you have a good view. That's kind of... And you can actually go, I think you can actually go inside. Five and a half thousand years old. Oh, only five and a half thousand years old, huh? That's not very old. <laughs> My amazing, huh? You think they chose this spot just for a good, just for a good view? Oh yeah. <laughs> if you're, yeah, if you gotta get buried here, I like to have this view. It's so beautiful here. Let's go inside. Yes, okay. We're going inside now. This place reminds me a little bit of um, America's Stonehenge. Ooh, night vision camera will do.
Amazing, huh? It's incredible, isn't it? Assuming you can't go through the whole entire thing. No. And some of it looks like they um, did a few um, changes themselves. That sort of thing. Hmm. I think it's time. The Ghostbusters. It's the Ghostbusters. Or voice recorder, apparently, we're seeing it wrong. Let's see. Uh, okay, Avery. Uh, West Kenneth Long Barrow, correct? Kenneth. Kenneth. And as from my friend, he helped me a little bit saying that it'd be kind of stupid to do English here because they wouldn't have really spoken English. So I got Welsh, which is the closest language they would have spoken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but never mind. <laughs> What's that? Not sure about that. Not sure. So we figured it'd be, uh, it's definitely, um, gearing towards the Gaul, uh, Gaelic. Mm. So we're going to do my, and I'm going to totally butcher the language. You so. will. <coughs> <coughs> um, let's see. Hello, sweet with tea. Give him about 10 seconds in between each question. <coughs> A OS on Rimwi was breathing on. Beth, you each in me. Fun. Mm. Of course, what you do is um, you have to play it back later because uh, you might not hear anything. But I'll keep it right here for now. Put it right here. Yes. We're not going anywhere yet. Thank you, sir. No By the way, if you want to see, <laughs> and, I'm not, and I'm pretty sure. I'm hoping that you know they'll be like, is he? I think you know there's spirits in here. They're like, I think he's trying to say something. <laughs> <laughs> this interesting and unexpected EVP might be saying hell too, which in Welsh might mean pick out. Decided what you wanted to say. And yeah, and then the words. Google <laughs> show. We either got it's either going to be really good or really bad. Do you like the English? Damn <laughs> 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 You like those English? Yeah. You like those English folk? Maybe we'll catch a few things this way too. See, some people put flowers down at all memorials. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Hello. Apparently, hello is the same. This. We can actually see if there's any energy in here. Because usually sometimes, ah, it's pretty flat. Nothing <laughs> happening. Nothing happening. Hold on a minute. How do we say the first one? Sweet eat tea. Uh, hello, sweet wheat tea.
because Andrew is a skeptic and we need to make him believe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, it doesn't matter. It's fun anyway, regardless whether you catch anything or not. Soit wit tea. We're going to do some exploring on top, but I am going to leave the DVR in here. I mean, gosh, it'll take me like five minutes, you know, two minutes to get it. So I am going to leave it into one of these chambers. It says we're here by ourselves. We're not too worried. I'll leave it right over here. So I don't know how to say in Welsh or Gaelic or Irish or whatever the other languages they would have spoken at the time. But, uh, hello. <laughs> I think that's the only one. Okay, one. Second chamber. Okay. Now, back to normal light. Where's my friend? Oh, where are you? <laughs> Alright, so I left it in there. Where do you want me for my beautiful photo op? We're gonna... All right, now we're going on top of the hill, the mound, again, the long, long barrow, whatever. Long barrow. <laughs> long barrow. We were pretty lucky. Um, the DVR is still in the chamber. I'm um, gonna try to talk a little bit soft now, but because um, there's some holes. I'm assuming this isn't the original. No. <laughs> I don't think so. You could see there's light in it, wasn't there? Was... Yeah. Actually, I think it makes it lighter. So it actually should help that there should there might not be any sound from us going down no. there. Because as you know, we left a DVR in here. We want to catch ancient English, indigenous, populated people, Saxon type stuff. <laughs> Got that? <laughs> All you can see in there, right up to here, where we're standing now. Much more yeah, yeah, I think they just opened up that one area. Yeah. Saison's? So, are you whistling? Nope. Must have been one of the birds or something. There's skylight. Or was it? Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Let me try it again. Say a sons. It's almost completely peaceful except for that chainsaw in the distance. <laughs> Just vaguely hear traffic. Alright, yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. It's not like London. <clears throat> My friend's tying his shoes. I'll go a little further down. Like I said, I just want to show you, we are the only ones here. This is not Stonehenge, even though, from what I've been told, this area is much more impressive than Stonehenge. Because people go into Stonehenge and realize how small it is. <laughs> even my, um, Steve Morrow, you might remember him, he said the same thing. He loved it. He loved going there, but he said it was very small. Hello. Hello. No, no, no. I think you gotta drop one L. Hello. Hello. For Welsh. Hello. Maybe we'll get a. Uh, I'll get like a f ancient language <laughs> recording, being like, "What the hell did you just say?" <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Shut the. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Trying to rest in peace. <laughs> <laughs> Step I sleep. <laughs> it's pretty long. 
So I'm assuming that's where they, they discovered the 46 bodies was in the front area. Well, yeah, part of it. And then they'd be all the way along, presumably. I suppose they just... Jesus, yeah. they big for 46, though. Well, there's probably, they probably, there's probably a lot more. I would think so. Want to sit for a bit? Yes. We're going to sit for a bit on the mound. As Andrew and I sat on top of the burrow, the recorder inside the chamber did capture a few interesting things. Here is the first one. The second file sounds like someone is laughing. And finally, the last one is like this odd metallic sounding noise or bang. Well, we're heading back after the disaster of the uh, spirit box not working. I don't know. Um, we got I got it working twice before, so I don't know why it's not working now. Maybe it's spirits. With luck. Or maybe it could be maybe we're just so far. Maybe there's just something about this area that's far from all the frequencies that there's like none. But we're gonna head back and we're gonna pick up my DVR. Maybe we caught some ancient Welshish, Irish, Gallic, whatever language they spoke in. <laughs> <laughs> or a combination of all three. <laughs> and then we're going to be off to Silsbury Hill. Have a walk to Silbury Hill. Silbury. And then we'll have some lunch at Avery. Are we going to have tea time? No, not tea time. No tea, tea time. time a bit more. Tea time. Tea time. We have. When you're in England, you must have tea time. So. I'm getting the full English treatment. See, most Americans, they come here, they just hang out with other Americans. I hang out with the British. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just going to go grab it. And like I said, we were, we were lucky that we were here all by ourselves. And so, if there's any voices on there, and especially that um, the sound doesn't really travel, uh, we should be able to, maybe we get something in there. Ugh. Of course, I wish I knew how to say thank you, don't follow me home back in Welsh. <laughs> or Gaulic or whatever. Uh, here it is. Yeah, okay. DVR session done. Off to loca next location. <sighs> True ho, right? Jelly ho. Well, we just done that location. Now we're heading over there to the other mound. And so, Mr. Andrew, my little, my British friend, uh, what did you think of me? Uh, even though we kind of did it very briefly and we had trouble with the spirit box, what did you think of my of our techniques? Very interesting. I hope it produces something. You're lying, aren't you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're walking by vicious moo cows. Don't go off the beaten path. They're vicious creatures. Because do you know that statistically? Hi. Oh, sorry. Jenny Ho. That can, do, you, do you know? <laughs> There's British cows and it's raining. Ah, they're gonna try to feed us. <laughs> why are they come? Why are they coming near? <laughs> so who's that American? <laughs> I, spy I know they're I know they're docile, but this thing I'm, with the with the rain, I'm afraid they're gonna like all of a sudden get startled and just run over us. <laughs> right, Mr. Moo Cow, Juddy Ho wants some tea. God save the Queen. Gotta put the camera away, it's beginning to rain. <laughs> That's all again. 
Well, we have taken refuge under a tree as it rains. As you see, there's blue skies over there, but it's raining over here. And there are the moo cows over there. So we're just gonna wait, and then we'll head over to there. Maybe we'll, we'll pick up spirits there. It's raining hard now. <laughs> it means it now. <laughs> it means it. It means it. Rain will come on. We can't. I don't. I doubt the camera can see the rain, but it can sure hear it. That's actually kind of cool. I like hearing the lightning. Thunder. I mean. So we're walking over there, correct, sir? Yes. Weather eye open. Yes. At least your car's been washed. Yes, it has a lot of needed ones. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, where's the en is this the entrance up further that way? Well, we can't get some Okay. So, all right. Next time. Thunder speaking. <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm, I'm hoping that the camera picks it up. Um, so next time I turn the camera on, we'll be near the mound. There's the hill. I just think, um, Andrew was telling me that before the main, what was the name of the road that got built to London? The M4. The M4. This was actually the main road to London, so thunder. It would have been a lot busier, so we actually are pretty lucky that they built that. Because it's still quite busy. And we're almost to there. We can't climb on top of the hill. Ah! <laughs> Woo! That was, that was a big gust from the truck. Um, we can't climb on top of the hill because I think it's because it wears it down a little bit. From what Andrew has told me. He's an indigenous populated person, you know. <laughs> Well, here's another view of Silbury Hill. I got it. Thunder. Um, we might not be able to get much closer. They, uh, there's, there's all these fence, you know, electric fences. Yes, we'll just call them electric and other stuff. There's signs here. They're, they're using the excuse that it's unsafe. And in some ways it is, but I think they're really excused because they don't want people you know, you step on stuff too long, you'll wear the dirt out, which is fine by me. So, I'm gonna show you a little bit. We're heading. These cars are so rude. Don't they know I'm filming? Uh, we're heading back to the car, and we're gonna see if there's another spot. We might be able to go further down that way. We're not sure. If not, well, this is as close as you guys are gonna get to this wondrous monument that actually has international importance. Or we can just go through here. <laughs> In international importance because it is well to get a world heritage site you there's like all these requirements uh but some of it is uniqueness uh, and engineering of human creativity and blah 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 blah. and i kind of agree i find this place to be, be not only quieter except when you're near the road but bigger because there's actually more to this place than just the hill the uh, long borrow and the uh, mounds. And I'm correct, sir? I am correct. So we're heading back to the car now. And hopefully, hopefully we can get closer. If not, well, enjoy it right now. Ooh. With the thunder. Well, we found the um, parking spot. Yeah. Avebury World Heritage Site. You know, actually walking along the highway, you get a little closer look. That's the irony. But there it is. It's about 4,400 years old then. Only 4,400 years old? That's like a baby compared to the other one. Shall we get closer? Welcome to Silberry Hill. Uh, 
Oh, this is as close as we're gonna get. So I got this ditch to help build it as well. Hmm. And they really don't know why they built it. Um, it's because they didn't have Facebook back then and they were bored. It was. <laughs> Lots of history. Uh, after this, what's next? Avery is next. Lunch. Avery lunch? And did we get to go to some of the stone monuments too? Yes. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? <laughs> I'm a good little puppy. puppy. I'm a good little puppy. I'm a good little puppy. puppy. Alright. Let me get a little zoom in. Hey, here's the way I'm doing it. Look at I'm zooming in so it's like I'm actually there. It is beautiful. And you know what? I guarantee it's not gonna come out well on the camera. It's lot it's a lot bigger than what it looks. Are you sure I just can't go in there really briefly? You think anybody I'll really get in trouble if I go on top? <laughs> no, not too puppy. I don't know. the lead. <laughs> lead equals leash in America. <laughs> it's fun. All right. Next stop will be some of the stone, Neolithic stones. After lunch, of course.